Yum, yum. Hey, everybody. I'm going to show you some progress uh, that I've made with the brow rig. Um, so with a brow, a lid, um, lips, you're always dealing with trying to create um, complementary shapes. So um, in the case of a brow, you've got an inner section, you've got a middle section, you've got an outer. Now, of course, you could put more detail or less, but typically the three zones is, is kind of how we like to work. So from a technical standpoint, trying to figure out a way of being able to create those shapes in a way that nicely blend together. So if you pick up or you move the inner, the midter, and the out, the midter, <laughs> the in, the mid, and the out together, um, you want that to nice create a nice clean shape as you go up and when you go down. And you want to be able to then, as the in moves separately, you, you want to be able to combine up nicely. Um, another issue that you need to solve is how to add shape corrections in to that and not require the tediousness of creating a, a shape correction for the in, the mid, and the out, and trying to make them all play nice together. Um, luckily, um, I was able to get the prototype to do mostly of what I wanted. Now, the, again, like all this stuff, there, there's so much that I'm going to have to do to create the full version of the rig, which will be in the training. Um, <clears throat> but I think this proof of concept shows that it's going to work. So check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, all right. So I've got my little control here. So uh, left side. So now if I, I pick these up, and actually let's do this because you've got some values that are funky. Let's close that and bring that up again. Okay. So now check it out. You get a different mouse. This, uh, this mouse wheel is a pain. I'll go here and do this again. All right. So now you see that when we lift, it's coming up and going down smoothly. Now, with the the real version of this, it won't be linear. It won't. Right now, I'm just using um, some transform effectors to move it up in a straight line. Um, when we do the the real version, we're going to use something that allows us to slide the brow over the skull, right? Because you know, when you move your brow up and down, now it doesn't move up in a straight line. It, it comes up your skull and it and it comes down. So it's it's sort of straight down and then curls up on the top and we'll talk about furrows and all kinds of other fun stuff but that said we're getting this nice kind of clean movement up and down and up in here I do have some basic shape correction going on so um, well here let's before I do that let me we'll start this and we'll pull these down so now you can see that I'm pulling the in and then I can pull the mid and if I pull it to the exact spot it lines up right and it does this kind of a thing, right? Now, <clears throat> it looks pretty linear in this, like when you see something like this, but when you convert them um, to a subdiv, come on now, subdiv, convert, um, you get you get those smooth lines. And if I was to take off the the, um, the actual lines there, you'd see it even more. But technically speaking, it's in a really good place. Um, let's bring this back up, All right? So we can do this kind of thing. So, and I was able to um, mirror everything to the right so now we go here i can pull this stuff up down here so the work that i did on the left i was able to transfer over to the right which is great um i'm hoping to make that as automatic as possible so that you can do your work on one side so <laughs> if you work on the pinky on your left hand left hand um, you want to be able to make sure that just goes over the right there's no reason to do the exact same work twice not unless you're looking for asymmetric stuff which you probably will want to do at some point um <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I had a phone call come in. <laughs> I, I should have put that on Do Not Disturb. Let, let's just do that now, shall we? Uh, do Not Disturb. I don't even know what that looks like. There it is. All right. I don't want to worry about that anymore. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, the idea being um, it'll either be through a script or as automatic as I can make it so that when you do work on one side, it's always going to come over with the ability to add asymmetric stuff on top. So we'll get to that point. But anyway, um, obviously I have not dealt with any of this stuff here in the middle, but it's uh, it's good. I'm encouraged. Um, I feel pretty good. Let's let's pull all this stuff down. And we'll start out. So if we wanted to play around with um, some some shapes, you know, we can go and and do things like this. Um, now, see how this is happening right now. I'm using a single um, weight container. I'm using the same carving spaces for the twist as well as for the up and down. Um, but the, the rotation of the brow, I'll actually end up with a different weighting for that. I'll use the same carving 
setup. So it's it's blending between in, mid, and out. Um, but it'll have a different fade up and down so that it's just the part of the this part of the brow is not going and, and working up there. But again, for prototype purposes, um, you know, just playing around with this so we could we could play around and do something where we um, you know, do this kind of a thing like that. So we got wacky wavy. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's working and I'm pretty excited. So this this means that this same idea will work for the lids, uh, they'll work for the lips. And anywhere else that we need a wave um, kind of control. Um, and you know, with the lips, we're dealing with curls and stuff, and I'm gonna prototype that out so, so you can see. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So now, check this out. Last little bit, and this will be a shorter video today. Um, maybe somebody else will call me. <laughs> um, so check this out. So I go and I move these guys up. So we'll do this, right? So I push this all the way up here. Um, obviously, I see this here, and it drives me mad. Not that I didn't fix that, but let's go and turn these guys on and off. Right, okay. So what I have here is I've got an inner, or an in, a mid, and an out sculpt. A sculpt, morph, um, right? And you can actually see the points move. That's pretty cool, right? So this, that, um, <laughs> it's funny. It actually looks better when it's off, so I think something might have gotten baked in there weird. Um, but you can see that these, these, uh, oops, these things are, are set up in here. They're working. What's nice is what I did is I created a builder. So this is, we have a single morph map. And then what I did is I created the in, mid, and out, and I used the single morph map to create the shape. It's just one morph, but this allows me to edit one thing. And it's not being carved out by anything. So this literally is just a helper tool. So I go in, I can make this clean shape. I can go in here and um, pull some points around. So actually, let me let me do that. So I'm gonna go here and let's say I do this. And set my automatic so that I'm pulling things up. And make sure that it's in the space, that I'm not doing it incorrectly. Let's make sure that I'm doing it right and it changes. Yep, okay. Um, so you run the risk of not being ed not editing a morph map, right? So I pull this. I'm just I'm just cleaning up these lines a little bit. I'm not gonna we'll do we won't do anything else. So I work in this space here, right, to clean that up. And then because the in mid and the out are using the same morph map, but then these guys are actually going through those carving spaces, and I'll, I'll show all that later. Um, it's one place, it's one shape. So that means I can pull the brow all the way up, make it look super nice, and it automatically will carve the in, the mid, and the out so that you can blend them all nicely. So when I um, come out of here, and let's go to this. Let's turn off. I'm still getting used to the fact that, that in the newest version of Moto that there's no item mode, that you're in it automatically. <laughs> it's muscle memory that I'm gonna have to get rid of. Um, but you can see that it's, it's blending it's going through and it's looking clean. And if we kill all these guys down, we get the default shape. So it's it's a really, really helpful way to make it easy to build a shape up, like the brows are up, and then still give animator controls to be able to do the in, mid, and out and not have to balance that stuff manually. It also means that if we go, hey man, can we, can we take the in and scoot it out a little bit more so it blends a little more across the bridge of the nose, or the out, we want to go a little more to the out to the skull, and of course, this is sort of a generic sample character that Hippie Drone let me use. But when we have a stylized character that might have like very square looking um, brows or something that's really rounded, right? There's there's so many different ways these characters can be designed. Having the flexibility to be able to adjust where the in, mid, and out are, how wide they are, how tight, and all those pieces together um, is really important. And so on a technical side, as a rigging TD, you don't want to have to go through and man every time you make a change, then all of your all of your uh, morph or shape corrections will be messed up, right? So it, with this, you never have to worry about that. Yes, you may have to make a change to the shape if the shape, the overall up and down need to change. But if they play around with the waves, right? That I want the in or the mid to be a little wider or shorter. You don't have to do that work over again. It's it, it's incredibly helpful when you're trying to get work done uh, and you've got a a deadline. So anyway. More cool stuff, brow, magic-y magic. Um, it's not magic. <laughs> it's just it's just breaking this stuff down in a way that makes sense. So anyway, more to come. 
Uh, I said this will be a little quicker today, but uh, brow, brow rigging. See you guys.